It was in the Rafah refugee camp in Gaza in May 2003 when James Miller was shot dead. He was there filming the effects of the Palestinian-Israel conflict on children when he was killed by an Israeli soldier's bullet. Despite waving a white flag and wearing a helmet and a vest clearly marked TV, Miller was hit in the neck. His family pursued a long legal battle with the Israeli government to prove the soldier's guilt. Then a Tel Aviv court ruled in favour of the family and an inquest in Britain found Miller was unlawfully killed. In a statement, the family said it accepted the payout, saying that after five and a half years since his death, this is the nearest they're likely to get to an admission of guilt by the Israeli government. Speaking to Press TV in August 2007, Miller's sister spoke of the Israelis' lack of cooperation in finding the truth. We have been through the daily pain of losing a very, very cherished and loved member of our family. And we have also had to go through also daily struggles um, of trying to achieve a form of justice that we can live with and the obstacles that have been placed in our way and the resistance and delays that uh, have unfortunately come from Israel. The editor of the magazine for the National Union of Journalists says the Israelis targeted Miller, which is totally unacceptable. The uh, forces knew exactly who James Miller was. He was standing there waving a white flag saying, I'm a journalist, I'm a journalist, all I want to do is leave, and they still shot him. I think it's one of the most blatant cases of unfair and illegal killing of a journalist we've ever seen. James Miller had worked for all the major news agencies in the country, and by the time he died he'd won several awards for his documentaries which focused on war and conflict. Miller wasn't the first foreigner to die in the hands of the Israelis. There have been a string of attacks, notably the case of the British photojournalist student Thomas Herndell. The soldier accused of killing Miller was not charged and has since been promoted. Usma Hussein for Press TV in London.